its power, the Roman Empire was vast, stretching from the deserts of Africa to the borders of northern England. Over one quarter of the world's population lived and died under the rule of the Caesars. In the winter of 180 AD, Emperor Marcus Aurelius' 12-year campaign against the barbarian tribes in Germania was drawing to an end. The one thing every Centuria wanted was Girls Gone Wild! Warning, this video contains adult content not suitable for children. Girls Gone Wild travels year-round from Aquitania to Galatia at Cappadocia, meeting hundreds of hot co-eds to find the sexiest girls in all the empire. These are the kind of girls you've always wanted to meet, just the way you want them, naked and ready to go wild. So hot! And hold on to your gladius, because this time we're hunting for the hottest girls in all of Imperium Romanum. These are some of the hottest girls you'll ever see. No mutilated slaves or plague-ridden hags this time. And better yet, you get to see them naked. I'm the hottest girl in Pax Romana. We first met Hanko as part of a group of whores touring Thracia and Macedonia near the shores of Neapolis. The producer of this documentary immediately took an interest in Hanko, and after a long night of discovery, we conducted the interview that follows. And how long have you been a part of this organization? What? You mean how long have I been with the girls? Oh, we're famous, darling. We go way back. And yet, you're not like the rest of them, is that correct? I mean, you're not, um... What? A woman? Oh, God, no. But hey, how is anyone supposed to know? You know? We're all wearing togas, after all. Who's to say? And yet, there is the matter of your beard. Yeah, sure. The girls like it because I'm handy when it comes to slaughtering an ox, digging a grave, or, or mending a boat. And what about the intolerance you face? It really ain't that bad. Ever since the Hellenization of Latin culture, things are a lot more tolerant. And the Christians? You mean the followers of Jesus? Ah, oh, they're no trouble at all. Their holy texts don't say nothing about me wearing a dress or having as much anal sex as I want. They're a religion of love, right? They're all do unto others and shit. And I do unto others three to four times a day. And where do you go from here, Hanko? What opportunities rest with the crossdresser in ancient Rome? Well, I won't kid you. It ain't like I'm getting my own syndicated show or nothing. Has Oprah been knocking on my temporarily backwards back door? Hardly. But I can see something working out. I can see it. Hango, Hango, Hango the transvestite. Hango, Hango, his resemblance to a woman is very slight. Hango! Hango is filmed before a live studio audience. Hango? Hango? Carlisle, have you seen Hango? It's nearly time for supper. I think I saw him down by the barn, milking a centurion. <laughs> oh, that Hango.